The ATA Impact Award recognizes individuals and companies who have bettered the archery industry through charitable works and by inspiring others to participate in archery and bow hunting. The 2021 awards are presented to two individuals, a manufacturer, a retailer, and a nonprofit organization. To start, let's hear from the winner of the retailer category, Lacrosse Archery, a pro shop retail member who supports a youth outdoor organization and host benefit events for members of their community. Quite honestly, it's an honor to win the award. Um, secondly, maybe the first thing that I thought of is, hey, this is a joke and uh, I need some comedy. It's 2020 and it's COVID year. Um, it's such an honor. We know a lot of people within the industry and we're flattered that they think of us in this light. Kicking Bear Foundation has been pretty close to our heart for the past, say, 13 years. For the past 10 years, we've been hosting uh, just a free day for kids to experience the outdoors inside. So we're located in Wisconsin. Things are pretty cold during the winter, but a great kickoff to either December or January before everything really gets um, super cold. Uh, is to shoot archery, uh, shoot crossbows and 3D targets and throw hatchets and really make it a positive experience that's safe for kids to enjoy. Um, Kicking Bear really focuses on helping people get outdoors, especially kids. Kids that might not have the opportunity to jump out there anyway. So it's a, it's a great environment with a lot of volunteers, and it's a really, really fun day. You know, the one thing with archery um, and getting kids outdoors especially is that it teaches them patience. I think the big challenge with a lot of kids, whether it be 10, 12, 15, uh, patience is always something that uh, can be worked out and certainly bettered at. Um, it's unique for kids to get outside and experience things that they otherwise would not have. Um, a lot of us in school stay in school. Um, it's eight hours a day, go home, play video games. You know, fill in the time after dinner. Uh, one unique thing about hunting is that it forces you to be present with yourself and be disciplined in a, in a ground blind or a tree stand. So it's it's just a unique experience altogether. I think it's easy to monetize different things, whether it's selling a bow or arrows. But the reality of it is, is if we're in front of people, we'll have more opportunities to sell. So at baseline, if we're in front of people, we'll have more touches, more opportunities, more conversations. The more that you're involved in your community as an archery shop goes, the more relationships that you start to gain. As soon as that happens, you get closer to people and you realize really what's in their life and how you can love them and support them through where they're at. So really being involved, it's all about opportunities. Uh, sales, it's all about touches. It, they're one and the same. The winner of the nonprofit category is Chris Ham of HHA USA a veteran-focused organization that hosts tournaments to raise money for veteran causes. My name is uh, Chris Ham from HHA USA, also from HHA Sports, and uh, this year we've been honored to uh, receive an impact award for our, our work with veterans through our uh, military nonprofit, HHA USA. So for people that aren't familiar, the, uh, the Honor Flight is a, uh, is a national organization. There's about 140 chapters around the country, and what they do is they send uh, veterans of World War II, Korea, and Vietnam to Washington, D.C. for the day. Um, this, the memorial was erected in their honor. So I had started as a ground volunteer four or five years ago for Honor Flight, our local doctor, and just fell in love with it. And driving home from the airport one night, I got thinking how I could use my for-profit business to raise money for them. So uh, essentially what HHA USA does is we put on archery shoots around the state of Wisconsin, and then the majority of those monies go back to honor flight chapters in the state to send veterans to DC. There's quite a bit of work behind the scenes. I mean, unfortunately we've got, uh, we have some great partners as far as archery shops and archery clubs in the state that, you know, have opened their doors and really rolled out the carpet for us. So um, that takes a lot of the work out of it on our end. Um, the bulk of what we do is, you know, soliciting our fellow manufacturers for uh, donations that we use then for silent auction. So we raise a lot of our money through, through items that are auctioned off. So. Um, there, there's a lot of work that takes place before the weekend of the actual shoot. Um, unfortunately, these archery shops and archery clubs, that's what they do is put on archery shoots. So we're able to kind of essentially just take our program and plug into what they're already doing. Um, and then I've got a handful of volunteers that I've um, been blessed with over the last three or four years that have, have started to help me out with these things. So it's not just me, um, you know. At the, at the clubs and at the shops during the weekend, you know, and then the, the, the shop owners, volunteers are helping out as well. So I've gone on the honor flight twice myself, once with a, uh, a World War II veteran that I met here in town about a year and a half ago, and then 
Uh, my father-in-law is a, is a Vietnam veteran, so I was fortunate enough to be able to go on the flight with him last September as well. Um, and then kind of a neat story, I actually, that morning of that flight, I met another gentleman that um, ironically was a hunter. Um, he was in Vietnam and he and I struck up a conversation and a friendship and, and long story short, through a mutual friend, we ended up uh, being able to send him on a bear hunt here in Wisconsin, uh, just, just through connections. So um, it's really been neat to see what, uh, uh, you know, some of the side or some of the byproducts of, of just doing these shoots, you know, we've met a lot of great people and, uh, and we've been able to, to bless some veterans and get them into the, into the woods on, uh, on some hunting adventures as well. And that's, that's another thing that, uh, that we do is, uh, to raise awareness for PTSD is our first 22% that we raise annually goes to three other organizations, um, Wounded Warriors in Action, the E3 Foundation and the Neistat Foundation. And they, um, that's their specialty is they they work to combat PTSD through getting veterans out on uh, outdoor hunting and fishing experiences. It's very interesting getting to hear the stories uh, from the veterans because I mean many of these men and women they don't they don't share these experiences with their own family even and so um, it's really a day of healing and and um, kind of closure for some of them and so um, yeah, it's a, it's it's an awesome experience. I think the probably the coolest part of the honor flights is when they come back that evening. Uh, there's a huge welcome home at the airport for them. So our our local airport might have you know 800 or 1,000 people packed in there with signs. I mean they've got marching bands playing, and it's uh, it's a big welcome home celebration that a lot of these these service members never got. So it's uh, it's just a it's an awesome day, an awesome experience. I mean, you you hear the testimonials from these people and they say that it's, you know, this was the greatest day of my life. So it's just neat for us to be able to be involved and, and be able to contribute to that in a small way. So there was a turning point in my life a few years back where I just decided that it was it wasn't all about me anymore. And, you know, we've, we've all been blessed with a lot of great things in this country and a lot of success. And it doesn't take a lot to to leverage that for for some other cause, whether it be veterans or um, you know alcoholism or cancer. I mean, there's there's so many causes and so many different things in this country that that need addressing. Um, and there's people with hearts for that. So um, I would encourage anybody in the in the archery industry or in the industry for that matter, just to uh, you know to use the the gifts and talents they've been given um, for something bigger than themselves and to give back to a cause because there are there are a lot of other people that are passionate about those causes. And um, the more and more that I get into this, I, I see that and those people will gravitate towards towards that cause. And when, when that happens, then that's when the magic happens because then, then you really start to multiply the impact that you can have. Suzetta Wise is the winner of the Youth Outreach Award for her work with Shoot Like a Girl and as an archery coach. I'm Suzetta Wise. I'm an archery coach and instructor, and I'm a 2021 ATA Impact Archery Award winner. I am associated with Shoot Like a Girl, and I'm an archery instructor for Shoot Like a Girl. We travel all over the nation instructing and helping women to become more comfortable and confident in shooting sports. And then I'm also an archery coach at my school where I teach fourth through 12th grade archery and um, enjoy teaching beginners and working with um, archers at all levels. The statistics um, with our Shoot Like a Girl trailer are saying that 36% of the women that go through our trailer end up going and purchasing a bow of some sort. So um, it's it's unreal to see the women that move through our trailer and the impact and, and confidence that exudes from them after that first shot. It's, there's a lot of adrenaline. Anybody that's shot, you know, the adrenaline that comes from that, um, you can't explain it. You know, when you, when you hear that first thwack, you know, of the arrow hitting the target, it does something to you inside. And often when I tell, when I instruct the ladies, I tell them, you know, be ready. Your addiction's about to begin. And um, it's true. It's true. One thing that has made a huge impact on me as an, a coach and an instructor is how many times people say, I can't do archery. I can't pull the bow back. And then when they do, it's been just 
like this light bulb goes off and it's like oh my gosh I I shot a bow and and it's been amazing to watch that growth the winner of the manufacturer award is bear archery bear has a long tradition of making archery accessible to all and promoting the sport Hi, my name is Alec Wyman. I am the marketing manager for Bear Archery Brands. And this year we were recognized as the manufacturer for the 2021 Impact Awards. So Bear Archery, since 1933, when Fred Bear first started the company, um, his first uh, idea or goal for the company was to make archery accessible to everyone. And today, across all of our brands, we still hold that tried and true. Uh, so we try to make all of our bows and archery accessories accessible to not just experienced archers, uh, but as early aged archers as well, trying to educate them on archery and all that it encompasses. So Bear Archery uh, is active with a lot of organizations, uh, YMCA's, local shooting clubs, uh, national shooting clubs, all that have the goal of getting more people actively involved in the sport. Uh, as well as educating them on uh, form, trial, and process as well. And uh, we're proud to support these organizations, uh, whether it be through donations, product donations, uh, but just trying to get as much of our product into the hands of uh, these people that are expressing interest in the sport. Bear is excited and, and honored to win this 2021 Impact Award for reasons, but primarily being uh, with the growth that our team has seen and the industry is is currently seeing right now in these crazy times uh, to be recognized as somebody that's influential or as a company that's influential uh, to see the the fruits of our labor in a sense is is really rewarding randy phillips received an individual impact award for his many years of service to the archery industry Randy has served as an ATA board member for more than 20 years and is also a member of the ATA Retail Council. He also serves on the NABA Board of Directors. My name is Randy Phillips. I own and operate Archery Headquarters in Chandler, Arizona for the last 30 years. I'm the 2020 Impact winner, and that's so exciting because it gives me an opportunity to share some of the things that I've learned over 30 years of running business here. So it's a great opportunity. I'm excited about it. So one of the opportunities that I've had was to join the ATA board back when it very first formed, uh, back when they first started dealer council. So I've been a long-term board member, um, which has really been beneficial because I pick up a lot of institutional history out of all the years that I've been on the board. Um, so I think it gives me a lot of insight. Um, you know, I'm also real involved with the NABA uh, and that buying group as well. Um, I also do some mentoring of different businesses to help them be more successful inside the industry. So I've, I've had a pretty wide scope of opportunities to be involved in a lot of archery shops that uh, I think gives me some good insight. So um, a few years ago, I started mentoring, um, consulting with some archery shops. Uh, for a while, I was uh, working with the ATA when we started a program that was all about getting people inside the archery shop. Um, you know, that's morphed to many other things at this point, but it was actually spawned off of Hunger Games and trying to get uh, dealers to go out and market for new people to come in their shop, um, which was pretty successful. We ran out on uh, quite a few different shops. Uh, I traveled with some ATA staff and we went and we implemented that in shops. Off of that, is where I started just getting a really good feel for how similar all archery shops really are. Um, it's amazing. We all come from different times and different places, but our shops run incredibly the same. So it's been a lot of fun uh, to be involved with that. And it's been really rewarding to be able to go into different businesses and, you know, uh, help them get to a place where they're much more profitable. Um, so it's been, been fun. The Archery Trade Association, we're always looking for people um, to get involved, uh, to be a part of that, you know, your voice will be heard. Um, your time is not wasted. Um, you know, there's just so many benefits to being involved. You know, I get, I actually have the opportunity to be with some of the greatest minds inside the archery industry. And so not only do I have the opportunity to help people, but I learn a whole bunch from my own business. Um, so it's just been super beneficial for my business. Um, spending that extra time volunteering and, uh, you know, whether dealer council or on the board of directors or whatever it is, um, you know, it's just really good information that I get to 
bring back to my own business, you know, even when I'm mentoring archery shops, you know, there's always a few things they're doing really, really well. And uh, um, I'll bring some of that information back to my shop and try to uh, improve my business performance here as well. The five award recipients represent excellence in the archery industry and the community in which we are proud to play a part. Congratulations to all the 2021 ATA Impact Award winners.